All right, guys, it's your boy Zero, and I'm here at the Armor Games studio, and I'm going to be speaking with... Melanie. Aurelien. And we're going to be talking about their awesome game, Kamearu. I hope I said that correctly. Yeah, it's like Kamearu, Kamearu, as you like. Kamairu, a frog refugee. Excellent. So, a frog refugee. You guys see the frog on my head from Parappa the Rapper. Let's talk about this game. What is Kamearu, uh, Kama Kamaeru about? Kamaeru is a frog collecting game where you take pictures of frogs to add them in your frog index, and you also restore wetlands and you farm the wetlands, and you can create products that you sell so that you can fund the frog refuge. So there's frog collection, farming sim, and decoration. That's basically the three key selling points of that game. All right, so frog collection, and let's also talk about the farming sim aspect about it because. We have a lot of Nintendo fans here at PAX. I remember coming back in 2020, my last PAX, and uh, what's the name? Animal Crossing was just coming out on the Switch. I saw people crying while playing that game. So let's talk about the farming sim, the whole being able to edit the map. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so you have an editor mode where you get into the uh, wetlands, and that's kind of the twisty part of this. It's wetlands, so that means you're digging ponds, you're putting vegetation that is like cattails, for example, like typically for the wetlands, reeds, and then you harvest that. So you have like automatic harvesting and then you can craft stuff with it. Like for example, jam, you would do jam with berries from berry bushes. And so this is kind of really the farming sim aspect of the game. And you have this in three different biomes. So that means you have three different ways of farming, let's say, and harvesting the stuff and a lot of mini games coming along with it to produce, produce, produce Sorry, produce the products that get out of these wetland resources. All right, excellent. Do you have anything else to add to that? No, that's just about it. And uh, each biome has its own native wetlands vegetation. So some research has gone into that. And they are real life application. You can actually like make, make cardboard and paper out of cattail and reeds uh, fibers. So we really want to teach about the real life use of the wetland vegetation. Excellent. Awesome. All right. So we got Farming Sim. Now let's talk about Collection because I saw a lot of the key art that you guys have for this game. And I saw the watercolor aesthetic you guys went with. It gave me major Pokemon vibes. You also talk about a frog deck. So let's talk about frog collecting. Yeah, sure. There's over 512 frogs to collect. So they are along eight species and you add them to your frog decks and they're nicely sorted so you can like uh, complete your frog eggs in uh, an ordered way. And also there's a breeding mini game. So you can take two parent frogs and make a child frog that you don't, don't already have in your frog eggs. So that's the main aspect of the collecting frog collecting. And also you want to take pictures of them in uh, over a hundred pieces of furniture. So you can take them in all different poses and uh, various furniture. That sounds awesome. I'm already imagining a lot of people trying to pose their frogs like this or something like that, try to get like maybe a sexy pose. I'm joking, by the way. Um, so what influenced you guys to make this game? Because I'm getting Pokemon influences. I'm getting uh, Animal Crossing. So what, what influenced you guys? Yeah, there's also a game called Neko Atsume. That's where cats pop up in furniture. That's uh, in ins inspiration for us also for this frog aspect. But especially, we also have this message we want to get it through, which is it's important to restore wetlands and you know biodiversity, all that, restore nature, and so there's like uh, everything is intertwined. The farming aspect, wetlands. The better your wetlands are, the better your frogs are, because you get the rarer frogs and the rarer insects to feed the frogs if the wetlands are healthy and working well. So it's kind of all connected and that was really like the the thing we wanted to do no that's good all right excellent so um you breed frogs you collect frogs are there like shiny frogs like they do in the pokemon games like any like special colored frogs that people may want to like uh try to find and grab and take pictures of there's not exactly shiny frogs, but there are special colors that you can only get through breeding. So there's a kind of luck part into it. You gotta choose the frog parents well, but you also gotta have some luck to unlock the rare colors. Yeah, maybe one last thing, there's like also a narrative part to the game. Um, so 
there is a progression, a lot of progression in that game, and you have three biomes. So to go to the biomes, you have to talk with NPCs, you have to have discussions, fulfill quests. So this is not a narrative game, but there's also this little aspect in the game which can be probably very pleasant for this particular audience. You were talking about Animal Crossing, there's also this aspect in Animal Crossing. So this is really a very a uh, deep game, actually, it's much more than just collecting uh, frogs, and that's important. Cool, so let's talk about a little bit about the story. I don't, want, I, don't want, I don't want you guys to feel like you have to spill everything out, but maybe a little bit of a taste for the people back at home. So what's the story of this game? I saw two characters. Are they friends? Are they something else? What are they doing? Yeah, they are. Yeah, you have to find out. They are childhood, childhood friends. So Cleo, she's in between two jobs, and she goes to help her childhood friend Axel. Uh, he wants to build a frog refuge, and he just walks her through all the, the whole process. And then other characters come in to help and restore the wetlands and get more frogs. And it's really a story about people coming together to build something together, and then uh, they travel to other countries to help other people restore other wetlands and uh, they create this organization, and uh, they all come together for the greater good. She said it all. <laughs> Excellent, great to hear. All right, so it's been a pleasure speaking with you guys. Tell the people back at home where they can find your game and you guys online. Yeah, you can find us on frog.game. This is our website, and it has everything you need, Steam, social media, everything. And there's a demo right now out on Steam where you can actually try the game for yourself. Excellent. Thank you both so much for speaking with me. Thank everyone back at home for watching us. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to slap the like button, mash the subscribe button, and let us know down in the comments below what you guys think about this game. We love this message of taking care of the environment because we live on this planet. Might as well take care of it, right? Um, we'll be back with more awesome stuff from PAX East 2024, so stay tuned for that, everyone.